you gotta get rid of that. You gotta get rid of that. You be all right. You know what I'm saying? So, so brother, oh, with this whole sperm, I'm glad you mentioned that. The sperm and pollack. The sperm is. Uh, uh, tadpole, isn't it? No, it's not, because the tadpole turns into a frog. Right? So then we'll try to act like the sperm is an amphibian, but it has no gill. The sperm just goes to a point of um, a, a, a natural progress to become its natural self, which is a human being. But it's not turning into from a tadpole to an amphibian and then to a so called human being. Listen, all of these classifications that we have. Homo sapien, homo sapien sapien, homo erectus, you know, and there's, there's history that is put with them. What I'm trying to tell you is that when they talk about homo erectus, when they talk about homo sapiens, when they talk about the Neanderthal, which is also a homo species, these people are interjecting that white people are more superior based on evolution because they have the blood of the Neanderthal in them according to their scientists and they say that the Neanderthal is actually the most intelligent out of all of them found in Africa. So Lucy has nothing on Neanderthal man. Neanderthal man, this is them talking. Neanderthal man, brain was smarter, it was bigger, he was more intelligent, his tool skills were more supreme than he any other tool fire. skills. He discovered fire, he did all of these things. Right? He's the catalyst to um, event civilization. And they're trying to attach to that. But you know what? When you drop your spirituality, you can't see through the madness. And when you so-called trying to be a scientist all your life, and that's what you're trying to base yourself on, you're never going to be able to um, progress. You know why? Because scientists base their facts on what is today and what was yesterday, and they are waiting to find out what they can find for tomorrow. So tomorrow is not the world would be. Excuse me, you just tripped over a female. So that was a lady. Oh, I heard all in your voice. Never mind, you don't even feel like that. A real man would have said, "Excuse me, sister. I know we can fight too. I don't care if you're bigger than me." <laughs> Papa, I'm from the Bronx, baby. Crazy. Stupid. Y'all right, so fast. Yeah, I'm faster I too. Chill I got out. that energy. Let's chill out. Chill out. The major point of this is that intelligence. You're break your fast, though, brother. I'll break him and my fast simultaneously. Go get some more. Intelligent design can't even defeat Darwinism. Now, Darwinism, there are uh, past Darwinism because uh, Darwinism was in the 1800s, right? This is 2015. So Darwinism is not the. Uh, major theories in this particular time period. It has all passed uh, um, into other onto other theories. All of those theories have its root in ancient Nile Valley Nile Valley culture, right? So so have you heard of the Sonic So so wait hold up hold up so here's the thing. The thing is that we don't know have you heard the correct the definition of intelligence design. Right? For the scientific community Right? You didn't give it the correct definition of intelligent design. According to, you can, you can look up the dictionary and you can find it yourself when you go home, right? And say, oh wow, you are more creationist. This is an evolutionary conference, right? So if you're going to defeat evolution, you can't defeat it with intelligent design because intelligent design, first of all, is authored by a European and it already failed. So what you are working on is some hybrid, right, that is unpublished, unresearched, right, unthought about. So it would be best for you to use another term than to go down with intelligent design, right? Now, if it's scientific, right, you're not a proven scientist. Maybe you might be doing philosophy. Maybe you might be doing psychology. But you're certainly not doing anything with anything scientific method. You will have 30 minutes. Now, what I'm just saying, today's elimination day. You can eliminate me right now. As far as this community is concerned, when they watch this, Iman Bashir, you have been eliminated. You have, you have great hope. You have been eliminated. You have great hope. See, you have been eliminated. Wait, wait. I ask, yeah, I'm going to ask my brother, been, see, the scientists, here maybe the two scientists hours. Thing, right? Here. All right, calm down, you got it. The scientists, right? You're going to say you're not a scientist. Okay, no problem. He's, you're he's, a, a, he's not a scientist. Are you a scientist? I am a scientist. I am. I am, I not, am. am I not a scientist? Well, if you heard what I said, if you heard what I said, I'm not a scientist in the same uh, context that he's saying, as far as going to university and all that. What makes me a scientist is because my spirituality is connected to the Almighty Creator which gives me insight of nature and everything that I observe. 
because we ponder over creation. And therefore, our pondering help us observe and come up with a conclusion that, of what a particular thing is. But this is what I want to go to real quick. This is more extension of European science. Have you heard of the super, um, the Sonic the Hedgehog gene? Real quick. No. Okay. So this is an extension of Darwinism. Now I want y'all to look up at home, Sonic the Hedgehog gene. Now you remember the game, Sonic the Hedgehog, the little thing they were playing? So the, the white man took that science, he said, we're going to call this a science, um, the, the Sonic the Hedgehog gene, right? What they say is, is that we can take the, the, the gene inside the body that makes these digits, right? So they say, what connects us, what connects us with other animals, they're trying to prove it. They say one bone here, right? Two bones there, and then you have a bunch of digits, right? So they try to show us that the bird has one bone here, two bones here, and then digits, right? And this is how they say it, that we're connected. So, but this is what these European scientists did, right? They took this gene, and then they manipulated and moved the gene so they can experiment on a bird egg. Find can, somebody else, so, Ali. Try to find somebody else, on a bird egg, right? To see if they could alter his wing pattern, and they certainly did. But what that shows you is, is that they had to manipulate the gene to make it do what it wanted to do, instead of leaving it there naturally so it can form in the way it's supposed to naturally um, form. Come on, brother. Come on. In the nature and power of a lot of mass and spiritual insight, you can see the world truth of our blue ball brings through a lot. And I give on to his holy and illustrious prophet, Mr. Drew Ali, the savior of humanity and the founder of the Morris Science Temple of America. I give honors to all those convened here today, and I give honors to where honors is due, including each and every one of you, the viewers. Thank you very much, Sana, to be on the view. I want to say, first off, you know, before we could qualify anybody to be a scientist, we need to know that IST is a suffix in the English language which denotes a specialty in. And science is the acquisition of knowledge via a method. You know what I'm saying? Which is why the scientific method is the basis for all scientists. Because if your specialty is something, then you'll be using it and effectively and very, very uh, often. You know what I'm saying? Science isn't something that you pick up Monday, put it down, and then re-pick it up on Thursday. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm a member of the Moore Science Temple of America. So it's like you deal with science, and you're dealing with the acquisition of knowledge, you're dealing with actual facts. You know what I'm saying? The Pacific Ocean covers 68,634,000 square miles. I'm not going to argue that with you. That's science. That's mathematics, because mathematics is dealing with numbers. So now when we talk about creation, right, matter cannot be created or destroyed. That's, irrefu that's irrefutable. And so when we think of mass increase and decrease, we're thinking of matter, we're thinking of things that take up space, we're thinking of things that take up time, we're thinking of finite things, things that begin and things that end. So I'm not too certain about intelligent creation or supreme God theory and all that because I never really looked into European science like that to even hold a discussion on it. You know what I'm saying? Ever since I looked up science, everything's been more science. It's like 2011. But here it says, um, in chapter one, the divine structure from the Holy Prophet, right there is the Holy Quran of the Moorish Science Temple of America, divinely prepared by the noble prophet Ju Ali. And it says that time never was when man was not. So we can't talk about, we can't really talk about people having a beginning or an end, and we can't talk about human beings having a beginning or an end, because anybody talking that they're human and they have a beginning, obviously is of a different species or a different race or a different biological or chemical makeup than us. The original man has no beginning or ending. Now we can talk about birds and we can talk about dinosaurs and we can talk about eggs, but let's talk about human beings and let's talk about sperm. Let's talk about um let's, let's talk about the basis of all things in existence, which is knowledge. When we look at our bodies, our bodies are merely an extension of the nervous system. That nervous system is an extension of the brain. That brain is an extension of a single cell. But the consciousness that is actually driving all of that isn't isn't palpable that means it isn't tangible that means it's not vibrating or operating at a speed that can be touched by physical existence so when we're talking about our people we're not talking about a physical ex existence which is why i like that the brother was speaking about spirituality or being spiritual spirit being breath breath being in our native language vital force which is ruah so when you're talking about vital force you're talking about holy breath or are you talking about the beginning of all things when there was no beginning? Then we talking about us. So don't get caught up in the body. Don't get caught up in the fingers. Don't get caught up in my knuckles almost landing on the 
12 brothers um uh lips or nothing because that's that, that, that's finite what it what the truth of the matter is not just the emotion not the mental or the neuro i'm pardon me not the neurological aspect of our people but the mental aspect we can't talk about we evolved from something we've always been a supreme being and anybody who disagrees with that has lost the knowledge of themselves and who is living a beast life. Stay off the meat, stop eating chicken, and lay off the soy. Can I ask you a couple questions? You can ask me as many as you want. All right. <laughs> so here's a question. So, uh, humans or humans mammals? Yes or no? Yeah. If humans are mammals, I asked him, is humans mammals? He said, humans are mammals, right? Okay. So, uh, if humans are mammals, what was the first mammal? humans are mammals, obviously the first mammal had to have been the creator of all the mammals in his mammal form or in his physical form, which is man. And the, rat, and the fossil finds say that the, uh, the first, uh, the first uh, mammals were basically rat-like. Oh, okay, and you're going off what a European found. My people been here 78 trillion years. So I'm going to take what my people said over some European who just got here the day before yesterday. Okay, so then I hear some other metaphysics talking about the reptilian mind. So before the rat, right, were um, rep reptiles and birds and dinosaurs, right? So, and, and here's the thing is, we share similar chromosomes with all of those. So if we're superior, why do we have similar chromosomes to all, to the rest of the mammal world and even we have uh, similar chromosomes to the reptile and other. <laughs> or do you know what chromosomes are? Come on, man. You're going to sit there. You see I'm rushing you. And you're going to ask me if I... All right. I go to Born Mastermind of Laws of Black Biology Tuesdays. Every Tuesdays at Mega Elvis College. So I'm very well aware of what chromosomes are. <laughs> Let's act like I do this for a living. One. <laughs> Two. Uh, ignoring the reptilian whatever stuff. I don't believe in all that. Whatever you talking about. Man, go back to Sci-Fi Channel with that. I stopped watching cable years ago. Know what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to just spit it because the prophet said it better than I did, you know what I'm saying? He said, man is the thought of a law. All thoughts of a law are infinite. They are not measured up by time for the things that are concerned with time begin to end. Now, it says here that the human seed that came forth from the heart of a law was full ordained to be the lord of the plane of soul and the plane of things made manifest. And once again, you keep trying to bring me back to rats and reptiles and things that are of a physical plane when I'm telling you that the human mind, not the brain or the neuro neurological synapses that is going on, is that, 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 that's not real. That, that's, that's finite. So all these physical things, although they may have been found to exist, we had already been in existence prior to that, and especially prior to the people that found those things. Okay, so evolution... Oh, the chromosomes. I forgot about the chromosomes thing. Why do we share chromosomes? Because we created everything that is in existence. That's why we share chromosomes with hydrogen and oxygen when a big bang is created, you know, to make water, which is the foundation of all life, and all things are composed of atoms in the first... Um, Adam in the periodic table is hydrogen, therefore all oh, things have a base in hydrogen. Hold on, so if all things have a base in hydrogen, and that's the first cell, then we can see that all things in existence are connected to one another. And as he said, the prophet said that all living things are bound by a course to every other living thing. So this is just, you can ask a nine-year-old Moorish American, he can answer these questions that you're trying to ask 85-year-old scientists who study 35 to 50 years to learn, you know what I'm saying? That's fine. So if we all share chromosomes, right, and so, and man was here first, so that means you're saying that man gave birth to the rats and the reptiles instead of coming from the rats and the reptiles because yeah, we, share, we, share, uh, we share chromosomes, I right? Yeah, I wouldn't so, say we wait, gave wait, birth. Wait, right, wait, 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 well, okay, so whether we said, so... We created, you we, know, we this created. So that created. means so that means the original man was here first, and then we gave um, we gave birth to the uh, no. the beast of the field. No, right? birth has a or, definition. Or we created the beast. I of the like field that word from better. our own chromosomes. So yes. whether or not we cut ourselves on the ground and then these things emerge, right? Nah, that, that's However, spookiness. the fact of the matter is that's that not fossil finds can't find anything before the creation period, the mammal itself. Europeans right? can't find nothing right. that is That's that is fine. worth their So then why are the Europeans being able to find something and the black man is being I'm able to find go. nothing? The Europeans couldn't find Osama bin Laden. What are you talking about? Fossils? That's right. Get That's, out of here, G. That doesn't, that doesn't work. I'm going to give it to Emma Bashir because so gotta you got to go. Out of here. I mean, the white folks kill more. God, listen, the chromosome thing real quick I want to touch on. See, this is more so-called science that they're giving us and say all our chromosomes match up. Look, apes 
chimps, monkeys have 48 chromosomes. We have 46. When the human body gets 48 chromosomes, what is it called? When it gets, uh, it's a chimp, it's a primate. No, 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 it's not a chimp, it's not a primate. It, yeah. When, when, when yeah. you have, Come when on, you, no, 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 side, when you have 48 chromosomes, something happens to us. We become mentally retarded, right? Now, what the science try to say is, is that there's two chromosomes missing because it's 23 for my mother, 23 for my father, right? Which is 46. What they did was, Reggie, they said, we found the two chromosomes attached to two chromosomes inside the human body. They emerged as one, and that's why we don't have the same symptoms as the so-called chips. Because we hold evolved. up, hold up, wait, wait, wait. Listen, <laughs> let me say it one more time until you can Wouldn't answer that be a it before evolution? I gotta go. Because it's less. I have two pro two cells in our DNA just like this, right? They're saying, hold this for me, uh, so you can hear. They're saying these two cells, we have 48, but those two merged together like that. Right? Which became one. So I'm asking you, if those two merged together and became one, and we once was 48, but we still have the same two, which they're saying is a hidden 46. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's hidden under 46. Why aren't we 100% genetically just like a orangutan, just like a chimp, so on and so forth, if we have the same uh, chromosomes? Why are we defending the Europeans? We're not defending the European, we're talking science. We're talking about monkeys. We're talking science, and there's nothing wrong, it's part of the... Hold on, hold on, go to the problem zone thing. Right? But the fact of the matter is that, that the, and, um, the, the information inside the chromosomes, um, they combine um, to be smarter to do different things, right? So the fact of the matter is that eventually, uh, from 48 to 46, eventually, as we evolve, we may have 44. There are lots of um, DNA material that becomes junk material, meaning it's caught up from the uh, from previous information that we no longer need, but it is still manufactured, right? So that goes into the concept of genome. But that, I think that that is not a, a, a great argument to be, because because again, you're talking about man, right? Now I would give this, I would say this to the to the more, right? Merck L. I would say the more Merck L, right? I would say this. What he is saying is that evolution does exist, but it just doesn't exist with man. Man was created separate. Everything else is on an evolutionary path or not, just not man. Is that is that fair to say? Close. What I would like to say okay. is that. <laughs>